<laughs> top three quarterback in the NFL? Jalen Hurts? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's, it's fair. Just, I, it's, it's, it's different. Mm-hmm. But he plays a quarterback position. It's just different. Like, you know how I like to put certain skill sets off on the own by themselves? Mm-hmm. He's kind of off on his own because his skill set is different and so unique that you don't have too many of those guys running around the National Football League that can do what he does. He's such a – just a different type of talent. You know, Joe Burrow's great and all, but Joe Burrow, it, it doesn't – his talent is just different, man. It's just a different – it's way different to me. Way I think different. It, I would have him top five. Who do you have ahead of? I mean, I, I don't have any particular order. I didn't come out with a list this morning on Monday, but like, I, to me, also, I think being in the top three, I need to see him do it again next year at a high level when everybody's eyes. I mean, which they were again this year, but you know, extra extra attention for him next year, and then doing it again in those eyes. Yeah, and also this is the first time he's played at this level. Let's yes. see him do it again. Seeing Joe yeah. Burrow do it two years right. in a yeah. row, back to back. Okay, see, I don't need to. I don't need to see him do it again. And the reason is because I saw him do it when they lost to the Bucks in the playoffs. I saw him come on strong at the end of the year. Yeah, that's fine. So I don't, I don't, I don't, because so I don't satisfied. think that I, I don't think that he's going to drop off. Right. I only think yeah. he's going to get better. Certain quarterbacks you look at and you go, like, like for instance, if you say uh, Baker Mayfield when he had a nice little run in the playoffs and he almost beat Cleveland, if you told me, oh man, he's going next year, he's going, I'm like, nah. No, no, you might want to wait to see that. Jalen Hurts, you don't want to. It, you can you can go with it. You could go bet on him next year that he there's a high probability and a chance that he'll be in this position again next year. By the way, I'm happy to give you my top five right now, and I'd love to put Justin Herbert in it, but I can't right now. Go ahead. I'm looking for an excuse, but I can't. One is Mahomes. Two is Burrow. Three is Hurts. Four is Lamar Jackson. And five is Josh Allen. And the reason I have Lamar higher than some is because when he is healthy, he may have a greater influence on the outcome of a game than anyone, than anyone in the league. Like, it's absurd when he is healthy how often his team wins, including against good teams, even when they have nothing else, when everybody's hurt. And when he's hurt, how, how seldom they win, right? Like, so, so I get it. He's hurt a lot of availability, and if you want to take him off the list because of that, fine. You don't got the back-to-back MVP in your top five quarterbacks in the league and Aaron Rodgers? I can't based on the season he just just had. once. I mean, you just have back to back MVP seasons. They had one down year. A lot of different- I would have Rodgers and you put Le- and you put Lamar. You put Lamar in there. Lamar missed half the season. Yeah, but when he was on the field, like I don't think he's going to miss half the season every year. He just had, you know he and, I, and like and I don't think Aaron Rodgers is going to play as poor as he played this Fair year enough. next year. Fair mm-hmm. enough. I, if you want to put Aaron Rodgers high up, I get it. For me, given what I just saw, and also like he's not. 25 and just had that season. Of right. course, there's some cynicism. So I would have Rodgers six or seven, but he could easily get back up to two or three. Are you saying Rodgers fell off the cliff? No. Okay. Not saying so I say if you do, you, then he can have another Hall of Fame Max. career in the next five years. <laughs> so I, I, that's your motivation. I think yeah. you should play the card. He I don't know any, I don't know anybody in their right mind that would put Aaron Rodgers as number seven best quarterback in the National Football League. Yeah, I, I can't. It. I can't co-sign. Okay. It. Who you, so who are you t- putting him ahead of? I mean, he gonna go in front of a lot of people, man. I know that. I he's know gonna that. go in front of a lot of people, dog. I get it. He had a bad year, and he also had some some <laughs> just weird stuff. His conversations that he had, I get it. There's a certain feeling about who he is. I understand all that, but he ain't the seventh best quarterback in the National Football League. Come on, man, stop. See, I look at the when you say I have to put this guy in this category because he's just different than that guy, the style. I look at effectiveness. So I'm not, I'm not I'm not afraid to say, like, yeah, this guy doesn't look like what you think of, a, a, like a quarterback needs to do X, Y, Z. He doesn't do that. Yeah, but when he's in the game, do they win? Now, you might say, yeah, but he's not always in the game, and you knock Lamar down. I can't argue with so that. What, so let me ask you this, then. It's just with not that, for me. I, with I, that, so now I'm going to do like Jay yeah, would yeah, do you. Yeah. So if that's the case, why ain't Jimmy G in there? Why is he or is not? Is he not? <laughs> why <laughs> isn't oh, he in? Savage. No, what okay. I'm saying. Because he just I'll, explained. I'll, he just said, okay, whenever several. Lamar's in, they win. And I just said, well, if that's the case, then you should put Jimmy G in there. Because every G. time Jimmy G is in, 
they win. Because I think there's also some common sense involved in the evaluation, <laughs> which is what you're arguing with Aaron Rodgers. You're arguing the same thing. Like, come on, use some common sense. Watch Rodgers. I didn't He's say that. He's excellent. But that's what's underneath it. That's what you're really saying. And what I'm saying is the same I thing about Jimmy G. That. He doesn't have the same tools as don't, the other don't, guys. Don't let him sway you and into then, a Jimmy G then, argument. Jimmy G's not part of the and, argument. Right. I'm and not then, arguing. Doc Purdy I, did G. very well. I know like he's trying Jimmy to keep him on course before it turns into a Jimmy G soliloquy. Yeah, That's right, all. exactly. You know? Exa- no, but uh, but I could bring it back. It's, it's some of it. So you're saying, Max, use not just the whole history, but the eyeball test on Rodgers. Obviously, yes. he's better than this guy or that guy. I understand what you're saying, and that factors in. I'm saying when you factor that in and his age and the season he just had and all that, I'm going to put the young guys who are having a lot of success right now ahead of the guy who's not having the same success right now. And if Rodgers had been making crazy playoff runs recently, I, I would – You know, you I know Aaron Rodgers, so you, know the last five a- games, you know the last five games of the season, Aaron Rodgers played lights out. Yeah. He played, and so and, so and Josh Allen had a better line. season than Aaron Rodgers this season, and like, okay – but like, who has had the last two seasons? Who have been better? Do you remember? Do you remember Jay? At one point, Rogers faced Josh Allen, and I asked everyone on this show, and I did it on TV too, on this just in, 2 p.m. Eastern, ESPN. But it's not a head-to-head matchup. I, but I though, asked Max. you. I asked. It's everyone, not a quarterback versus quarterback but I, matchup. But it is in the evaluation of the quarterbacks, and I asked everyone going into that game. But who has the advantage at quarterback? But and Green, do you remember but what Green, you said? Green Bay's defense did not live up to expectations but this I, year at all. But I did ask you heading into that game. Who had the advantage at quarterback, Green Bay or Buffalo? Do you remember what you said? Josh Allen. Yes, you said Buffalo. So did Keith. Because of so the did way, everyone. Because of the way that Green Bay was playing this year, yes. He proved that he could play in big games when there's a lot of people doubting him. He can't throw over the middle. He can't do this. He can't do that. Let's see what their passing game looks like. The guy was 27-38, 304 yards, a touchdown, and three rushing touchdowns on the ground. And he had the costly fumble or whatever, but that they, he bounced back from that. So I'm going to discount all of that because if that would have affected him, he wouldn't have done the things that he uh, did in the particular game in the Super Bowl. So, yeah, I, he had a lot to prove, and he proved it. Now, there shouldn't be any question marks. 12 months ago, it was like they got all these number one picks. Ah, oh, this guy's coming out of the draft. They should take a look at this dude. Well, they did Gardner Minshew. What about him a year ago? Well, they traded for him. All, yeah, well, that's over. Put, that, put oh, that's all over. that. Get out. Just stop. Yeah, but I stop. think it's been you, over for I, a minute. Can I tell you what he proved? I mean, he just cemented the thought. I mean, we can get into the legacy of where he ranks as a quarterback, which I think is a low-hanging fruit type of conversation, frankly. To me, like, he's one of the best leaders in sports mm-hmm. right now. Like, there's, there's not one time when this dude isn't on the field that I don't believe that he individually is going to do everything in his power to will his team to win the game. Like, last night, even another example, you know, he has fumbles the ball in the first half. The next drive goes and scores again. Like, that play is over. I'm on to the next. I'm focused on one play at a time. He just feels to me like that aura makes him one of the most transcendent leaders in all sports. I, I hate the Eagles. I root against them. And when, because I'm a Giants fan, and when there was eight seconds left in the game, I was not positive the game was over because they have Jalen Hurts. And, like, there are miracles that happen, and they tend to happen with guys who lead very, very well, right? Because the team never believes they're out of it. Now, of course, it didn't happen because the odds against it are astronomically high. However, just the feeling he gives you along the lines of what you're talking about, Jay, is like maybe, maybe a miracle can happen, right? No, I wasn't. Uh, you, did you feel any nervousness at all? No. With eight seconds? Yep. Not with eight seconds. Yep. No, something it was crazy, too late. Something stupid could happen. Yep. Yeah, but it was, I didn't, it was like that. Yeah, I know, I know, Mahomes, I know the shoulder was hurt, but the throw at the end, The throw, too, yeah, like, the throw uh, was like, where's Did where's he that? get hit? I noticed that Yates doesn't throw I, I, sound I, I effect I turned my head. One. Did he get hit on the throw? Not that I saw. Because I turned my head and I didn't see him get I just saw the ball bouncing. I just saw the ball bouncing, yeah. Yeah, me too. And the camera, the camera didn't stay on him. The camera went. It, like, got off of him, and all I saw was a ball bounce. At the end of the day, Jalen Hurts outplayed Patrick Mahomes. Like, he did. I disagree with that. Early Me too. I disagree with it. You do? Numbers-wise, okay, he he had better numbers. But he didn't outplay him. Mahomes made all the plays in the second half. He just didn't make a lot of plays in the first half, and his looked different. Than Jalen Hurts is. That's all. He just looked different. Jalen Hurts isn't the reason at all, even remotely close, right, Jay, to why they lost. It's not even well, close. except for the turnover. That was the difference yeah, in the but game. That, but he uh, bounced back from that. He, he did bounce back. back for it, but yeah. just to just to be clear, Mahomes did not turn the ball over. Had he, no, maybe the he Eagles didn't. win. 
but Hurts no, did. did, and therefore you could you could say that was the pivotal play of the game. It's yeah, a, but Hertz you played a fantastic that, game. You can couch that any way you want to, Max. Type of thing, though, Max. It's not. Yeah, you're the one who brought up that he outplayed Mahomes. <laughs> I think he did outplay him. It's not a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. I just disagree. I don't think he – in the first half he did, but down the stretch Mahomes – played Super Bowl winning football. He made all the plays. And, and Jalen was playing Hurts. Super Bowl winning football so too. Jalen Hurts. He didn't yeah, Jalen exactly. played Super Bowl winning football. Win. Except he didn't win because his defense didn't. I, usually the, turno usually the turnover battle will decide the game. And in fact, it did in this Yeah, case. it was one turnover, it man. It was, and that was the difference in the game. No, it wasn't. Or if you don't allow a pump return to go all the way to the five-yard line. The That's difference true. is like, you've got lots of three difference phases of the game. game. you got defense, offense, and special teams. Mm -hmm. Jay just special brought it teams. up. There was a huge pump return in the game that takes them down inside the red zone. They punch it in from there. You, that, that you could contribute to it. I understand when you look at the, the total points in the fumble and you say to yourself, well, if they don't fumble – then this wouldn't have never happened. Well, you can look at it from the side. If they don't get inside the red zone on the punt return, exactly. maybe that doesn't happen. The Chiefs' offensive line played very well in the second half, as did Mahomes, who read the defense very quickly, got the ball out fast. It was on time, on target, didn't turn it over. Super Bowl-winning football. Key, what do you always say? 182 yards, in this case, three TDs, yeah. no interceptions. You let your teammates do their job, and you win the Super Bowl. Victor yeah. in L.A. He was 21 to 27, a bucket, some change, this and three the, TDs. Yeah. Too many TDs for Key. Key would prefer two TDs, but he gave you three. No, if he give me three, give me four. I just don't need him trying to right. you, you throw Drop the ball there 50 times. times. Yeah. No, I don't need that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.